President of Aspirants Study Circle, Tirumal Kumar Garu, all the directors, all the guests, Maria Kumar Garu, uh, Vamsi Garu, Sundar Kumar Garu, uh, all other Dinkar Babu Garu, Satyanana Garu, and the most importantly, all the four successful candidates, those who are here, and the very important people, spirits, to become civil servants in this country. I was thinking that, you know, to be IAS should be expanded to be senior civil servants of this country. So, uh, because, you know, we have uh, all the civil services included in this civil services exam, which is conducted at the country level every year. So, I think uh, Satnagaru has laid the very good uh, you know, background uh, how you should uh, prepare, how should you should you know, think about civil, you know, civil services to be. Now, I will tell you my own experience very briefly because there are huge panelists there and uh, uh, we have to conduct the program in the limited time. Uh, while studying, you know, usually, you know, post-graduation and post-graduation, we think about the jobs. So I was uh, thinking about to become a geologist in the country. So after having done my MSc, I applied for, I mean, you know, Geological Survey of India job and ONGC and became, got both of them. In the meantime, one of my class fellows in the hostel in Lucknow University uh, said his father is pressing him to write the state civil service exam. Again, a very prestigious exam, PCS. So he started, he appeared in MA exam and immediately after that, three months later, he was about to appear for the state civil services exam. I said, you are a mad guy, you can't, uh, within three months time, you can't do. But he was a good student at the graduation and post-graduation level. And he wrote, he came to me, and every day we used to sit down and see his papers. And I was not assessing him very well. I thought that it's a very tough examination, and uh, he may not be able to make this time. He should try next time. After the exam was over, and after three, four months time, he came suddenly to my chamber saying that, uh, my room, and he said Ki, he has been called for interview, he has qualified. Then he said, Ki, you come accompany me to Allahabad for you know, appearing in the interviews. So I accompanied him and saw the interview process. He came back. I thought it's a trial round for him. In one after two, three months, two months time, early morning, six o'clock, there was a knock on my door in hostel, and he says he has secured seventh position in Uttar Pradesh. And that was the trigger point. The moment he said that, that triggered my mind. And that was the trigger. It said, Ki, I must prepare. I must write this exam. I should also qualify. Because, you know, my own colleague whom I am, you know, associated for four or five years, he has qualified. So, that, so there has to be a trigger. That triggered and gave me motivation, self-motivation, self-belief that once my, my colleague has done it, my own friend has done it, I can do it. So today you can see these four candidates who have done it. You meet them, you greet them, discuss with them if you have an opportunity and get the self-motivation. You can prepare and get it. The second point I will make it, Dinkar Babu and me both have worked together. So I was collector Hyderabad and we were coordinators for conducting civil services exam as collector. Union Public Service Commission used to call us 
okay, that how the exam has to be conducted, how prelims have to be conducted, what kind of seating arrangements, invigilation, how to be done. So I was in charge of you know, conducting a civil services examination in Hyderabad for three years and Dinkar Babu was at the helm of affairs. He was looking into the nitty gritty. And I tell you, when I used to go to the centers, exams used to be happening. Out of the 60 numbers, seats allotted, only 25 numbers used to be there. We see that, you know, 10 lakhs people have applied, but actually only 4 lakh used to appear. Those days it was not 10 lakhs, it used to be 4, 5 lakh people applying and then, you know, half of them, less than half of them used to write. And within that also, how many of them are serious candidates has to be seen. I think less than half used to be serious. Lots of people used to just go and write for an experience purpose. So, only 50% or less than 50% will write. And out of that, only 50% are serious. And out of that, only 50% will be having right strategy to succeed. So, this, this coaching, Aspirants Coaching Center, can provide you the right strategy, right guidance to succeed in the examination. Do not get flabbergasted by the numbers that appear. You can still make it. Have the confidence and have the belief in yourself. Prepare. Have the right strategy that can be provided by the these kind of coaching centers because competitions have become tougher today. When we have written, it was little easier. But you know, one has to prepare the right strategy, select the right question papers, uh, sorry, right subjects, and then get into it. And uh, those days there used to be two uh, optionals. Now it's only one subject is there. So I choose my own subject geology and another subject geography. So the fear of the no second subject which is unknown to me, I worked harder for that subject and I tell you at the end of the day, I scored more in geography than in my own subject geology. So that, that proves a point. If you put more work, more hard work, prepare, you will get more. It's a question of training yourself training your mind, having the belief, not fearing the numbers that appear, that can you get the great success. So today, I, I really, I congratulate our fellow civil servants, those who are sitting, and they will join very soon in uh, Masuri, and uh, wish you all the best for good preparations, and I hope the Spirit Civil Service will give you, give you the right direction to succeed. Thank you and best wishes.